Research shows that student-centred approaches to teaching that change and develop students' thinking gets better student learning outcomes than the more traditional teacher-directed information transmission approaches. For teachers to make this shift, it's important to have the capacity to reflect on one's own practice and to be familiar with evidence-based research into effective teaching. To be effective, learning must be active. So effective and active learning are interdependent and one cannot occur without the other. They are two sides of the same coin. When learning is effective, students are actively engaged and they are motivated. They accept responsibility for their learning. They work together to achieve shared goals, listen to others' ideas and support one another through challenges. So the effectiveness of active learning is not limited to the academic or cognitive, but extends to the social and the personal development. Yeah, thank you, boys and girls. They're really good responses.